Hey guys, welcome to day four of putting out content to help you through this crazy season. I decided to get out of the office and get down here in the beautiful uh, beach near the office. And we've got Pat filming, but he is more than 1.5 meters away from me, which is good. Praise God for the zoom lens. Um, you know, <clears throat> my purpose of doing this is, is I just want to be that kind of like perspective voice for us at this time, you know? And so what I want to talk about in today's little video is we need to be really careful what voices we allow into our world right now. So obviously I've said this many times, you need to cut out the news cycles because the news are always salacious. They're always overstepping the mark. They're always using language that is emotive and in this case fear-based. And so that makes sense that you would kind of cut most of that out of your life, okay? You should be too busy making sales calls and doing deals and following up quotes and talking to your team to, to have time to be consuming salacious stories. But I wanna go even further than that. Friends, family, church members, I just wanna give you permission for a little while that if you have to, it could be prudent to push back some of those voices from your world if they're the kind of voices that are gonna pull you back or trying to poison you or fill you full of fear. Remember, they're not malicious, okay? They're not malicious. They just don't have the same perspective that you do. So it, I just wanna give you permission that it's okay for you to push those voices back a little bit. Maybe don't hang out with those people as much as you have been. If that's family and that's tricky, that's okay. You just may have to duck for cover a little bit from them, right? If they wanna to speak to you and ring you every day. Because if they're full of fear, it, it, it just starts to get inside of you and you can never win that game. You need to find the voices that are gonna build you up. You need to find the, voice, the voices that are eternal optimists. You need to find the voices that can bring pragmatic wisdom and training um, and value to this next period of time. Because you can have, you know, you can have positive voices but for some reason, if you have one negative voice, it can undo everything, especially if it comes from somebody you really trust or love or care for. So we don't want to be pushing people out of our lives forever. But right now, when you're, when you're going to use this opportunity to build a big business, to have more influence, to change culture, to bring kingdom in the business world, the magnitude of that task is so big that you cannot afford to have people that are gonna draw from you or try and detract or pull you down knowingly or unknowingly, okay? You just need to be very careful which voices you allow in your world. That's why I'm doing this, because I, I made a commitment to be the one voice. You may, you can pull from many sources, but I wanna be the one voice in the business faith community that is saying, it's a wonderful time of opportunity. This too is gonna to pass. What a wonderful opportunity to be salt and light and live out our faith to a scared community. Like, like, it's a wonderful opportunity no matter where you look at it. There's gonna be business that comes out of this. There's gonna be assets that come out of this. It's all good if, if you can see that. Um, I just know that I can only do so much. So I could be bringing all the positivity and practical training in the world, but you could go back to your spouse or your parents or somebody who you trust, and they could say one thing and they'll completely undo everything I've said. And I don't want that for you. So just in this time, just be real wise about who you're letting speak into your life monitor that closely because if it's not building you up and moving you forward you may need to put them out on the bench for a while and uh, and come back to them later of course you can love them but you can also love them from a distance give me a comment in the comments below um what do you what are you making so far out of these videos and, and what's your best bit uh subscribe to the channel why because then you get the alerts hit the little bell every time we put up a video you'll see it and uh i'm cheering you guys on i'm championing you it's an exciting time and, uh, and we're going to do better because of it. See you soon.